Bill Cullen, hi. I'd love to take up that last remark, Pat. Yeah. That's uh, 100 years. It doesn't matter what it is. I worked for nothing for many, many, many times just to get a job. Isn't it better than staying in bed all day? Better than not working at all? If you go, if you go and get a job, you're going to get experience. The one thing that young people don't have coming out of college today is the people skills and the work ethos. You are way ahead of where we were at your age. Way ahead of it. You just have to take that and use it and bring it out and be seen to be able to do it. This programme started off, Pat, with someone saying, have we crippled a generation? We've me. challenged a generation. That's what we're doing. We're challenging you with issues that you have to stand up and take on. And if you go back to my time, we had nothing in the dole, not a brass farthing. Even my father didn't get a dole when he was out. And we were in our bare feet and we went out and worked. And everyone here has to realise that there's a work ethos missing from the young people. You won't work. What do you want to do instead? For nothing at the moment. So I right. Just, well, are you working? I'm talking about... You have to learn new skills. Somebody else, was it you again, Pat, that said they are much travelled and well-educated. Well, guess what? The education isn't its theory. Practice, you go out there and you work in something and you get some practice. In terms of much traveled, the much traveled was more play than anything else. You've got to get the skills, you learn the skills by doing things and getting experience. Oh, you think this is a mollycoddled generation? Without a doubt. Mollycoddle is the word for it, Pat. You know, as a kid, I had to get up at four o'clock in the morning to try and support the family. That's what we had to do. You guys don't know what tough times are like. And I'll say that to you as well. Okay, what do you want to say? Yeah. Uh, I'm a trainer in the Seed Centre in Clondalkin, and the people that I am privileged to work with are the very people that want to work, Bill. They just haven't got the opportunities because this government has badly let them down. Sorry. Um, I, listen. Clondalkin, a very disadvantaged, well, socially I'm excluded area. I'm up to here in Clondalkin. I sponsored a Clondalkin Fantastic. youth band, and I get Fantastic. people's jobs out there and help them. We had Ed and the trick, is, had to get the money trick from... is to inspire them to do that and give them the confidence to believe in themselves that they can do it. All right, uh, oh, yes, you want to say something. That's exactly, right. there's and no it's well done. The and well done. Aren't you make your own opportunities. Take responsibility for they yourself. They bail the bankers Don't and the rich cats. Okay, let's, my goodness, let's hear some more. Yes, what do you again. want to say? No. Blame somebody else. Oh, I will, yes. Get out and do it yourself. I tell young people Don't be to blaming. vote. To vote, and if the there's nothing to do with the vote, tonight, they're all the same. Out and vote and have they're a general election okay. and get rid of this government. It's up to you. Get rid of this government, Bill. Get rid of them. I want to hear from the man beside you. Yes, I find it remarkably funny that Bill should get agitated on the first suggestion of redistribution of wealth because we heard the nonsense from the two politicians in the front 